Hey guys, in this video, we will be discussing how to identify strengths and weaknesses on any market. Let's begin. Here we go. So this is our agenda for today. So I created a very simple methodology or steps para tulungan nyo tayong sagutin yung ating question on how to pinpoint strengths and weaknesses on a market. So, ang pinaka-priority dito is kailangan nating identify kung anong current phase na siya ng market. So, we have already tackled this. You may check my previous video kung saan is tinakil natin ang pag-identify ng market cycle. So, ang main focus ng ating video is regarding chart patterns and candlestick patterns. So, itatry nating intindihan yung concept behind them without memorization. So, with that, is kaya nating identify kung bakit ba sila gumagana, kailan sila best na gamitin, at kailan tayo dapat magstay out pag nakita natin itong mga chart patterns nito. Since ang pag-identify ng market cycle can be subjective, is we will be using a simple indicator para we are on the same page. In here, we will be using moving average 200. Ibig sabihin lang nun is we took 200 sample size of the previous closing pressure and we simply took its average. So, itong ating guideline, if the price is below moving average 200, we classify it as a downtrend or it is on a downtrend sideways. If the price is above moving average 200, we classify it as a uptrend or is it uptrend na sideways. Punta na tayo sa ating main part which is a chart pattern that makes sense. Una sa ating listahan is a ascending triangle. So this is my favorite setup kasi napakalakas nung probability ng win rate niya. Given that na ititrade lang natin to on a uptrend na market cycle or it is on a downtrend na sideways near its break na moving average na 200. So this is a positive na sentiment. So ano ba yung concept behind it? So, kung mapapansin nyo, this is a resistance level, itong area to. And clearly, makikita nyo is the buyers are willing to buy at a higher price and it keeps going near the resistance level. So, makikita nyo dito, clearly, na buyers is mas malakas compared sa sellers. Ano ba yung strategy na pwede nating ma-employ dito sa ascending triangle na setup? So, given that it is on a uptrend na cycle or it is on a downtrend na sideways near the break of MA200. So, basta given na nandito siya sa area na to or nandito siya sa area na to is high probability trade ito. So, gagawin natin is if you are an aggressive trader, we can enter on the break of the resistance level. Maglagay lang tayo ng konting allowance of the resistance level. Then, maglalagay tayo ng cutless level away from the market structure na previous low. Kung saan, if pag nahit yung level na yun, is disvalidated na yung ating uh, ascending triangle. So, yun yung isang way ng entry point natin. The next na pwede nating entry point is antay tayo ng pullback dito. Pagka-break nya dito, may possibility na test nya tong resistance na level na to na magiging siyang next na support. So, pag i-retest nya tong resistance na to, pwede tayong bumili on the break of the na-create na high level dito. So, pag retest nya dito, break of the previous high, dito tayo bibili. Lagay natin at ating cut loss level away from the resistance level. So, magkaroon naman tayo ng example ng pag-identify nitong ascending triangle on a live chart. So, so, in here, ito yung ating moving average na indicator na sinet which is this one, which define natin if the price is above dito, is we classify it simply as it is on a uptrend. If below siya, we classify it as a uh, downtrend siya. So, dito makikita nyo, dito natin na-identify yung ascending na triangle natin kung saan is the price keep retesting this resistance level and the price has been going higher and lagi niyang rinitest tong level na to. So, pagka-break nito, nag-create siya ng mini consolidation area which is the best place to enter. Break nung high nung consolidation area, doon ka bibili, cut loss level mo is below the previous resistance. So, next naman natin example is ascending triangle on a downtrend na sideways near the break of moving average na 200. 
So, ito is just equivalent sa accumulation phase sa ating market cycle. So, mapapansin nyo, the same time is the price keeps testing this resistance level, the same time is generates a higher low na structure, thus generating a ascending triangle. Pagka break nyo dito, is nag-generate na naman tayo ng small consolidation area, which is the best place tayo na bumili on a break of this high level na to. So, since itong area na to, above na siya na moving average 200, we consider this as a uptrend kung saan may, pwede tayo mag-trail ng ating cut loss level. So, initially, is pwede nating cut loss level is around the previous low, which is this one. Then, umangat yung presyo natin, and then, nag-generate siya na naman small consolidation phase dito near the high of this previous structure. Gagawin natin, iti-trail natin siya ang ating previous low. So, from here na cut loss level, iaangat natin siya from here level. So, the next day is um, na-break niya naman tong level na to. Stay on trade pa rin tayo. Nag-generate na naman siya ng high, new high level niya dito. De and then, nag-generate na naman siya new consolidation phase dito. Angat na naman natin tong ating cut loss level until ilagay natin siya around here. And thus, after this is na-hit ang ating cut loss level. So, basically, naka, ito yung ating reward. So, this example naman is ascending triangle on a downtrend na sideways near the break of the moving average na 200. So, parang same siya ng market cycle na to, which is, we can say it is on a accumulation phase, which is transition from downtrend to possible na uptrend. Unfortunately, this is a failed setup, which na naiwasan natin kasi it was not able to break the high of this resistance level, thus hindi tayo nakapag-position ng trade na to. So, ito yung importance ng buy on break strategy kung saan is bibili lang tayo on the break of the structure of our setup. So, what if nakapag-identify tayo ng ascending triangle but it did not meet this condition? So, clearly, yung market cycle na to is on a downtrend. So, there is no way na nasa downtrend sideways tayo kasi napakalayo niya sa ating moving average na 200. So, clearly, we should not take this trade kasi sabi ko kanina, ang ascending triangle is high probability trade only if we met this condition. So, the next day, let's check yung price action na nangyari. So, what happens? The price gets lower. So, it so happens, itong area na to is hindi siya ascending triangle, thus we consider it as a continuation pattern or a flag pattern. Ang next na chart pattern natin is a continuation pattern, also known as a flag pattern. So, ang condition natin dito is dapat it is on uptrend or it is above the moving average na 200. With that is, we have a positive or bullish na sentiment. So, ano ba yung concept behind a continuation pattern? So, basically, since meron tayong previous moves na pataas, is meron mga tao na hindi nakasakay dito sa previous move na to. So, yung mga tao na hindi nakamove nito, is meron silang emotion involved na fear of missing out. So, the next day na magkaroon tayo ng small contraction ng price or consolidation, or konting pullback na yun, is pag break nung high nung consolidation natin, is iko-continue niya yung trend na yon. Bakit? Kasi is maraming tao na abangers dito. Maraming experience na trader or mga practical trader na nag-aabang dun sa break ng ating consolidation phase kasi potential niya i-continue yung trend. So, maraming mga potential buyers dito sa area na to. So, once na-break itong area na level na to, definitely iko-continue niya yung trend since nga meron tayong positive na sentiment sa ating cycle. So, ito yung example natin as a continuation pattern on a uptrend or flag pattern. So, if you are a trend following and you were not able to capture the trend or start of the trend, do not worry. Ang gagawin mo lang is mag-aantay ka ng small consolidation or small pullback. Yung break nung high nun is sa kakabibili. Kasi with that is you have a better risk to reward na setup. So, example nun is, for example, ito, meron kang previous move na pataas, is meron kang small consolidation na area nito. Possible na strategy mo is bibili ka break nung high nito, cut loss level mo is dito. With this, you have a better risk to reward na ito, compared naman, bigla ka lang papasok dito, and yung cut loss level mo is dito pa. So, ang layo nito. So, for example, hindi ka pa rin nakasakay itong level na to, and umangat siyang paganto. 
sabi mo is vertical na ito, bababa na to. Pero always remember that in market is what's high can still go higher and what's low can still go lower. Ang reason behind this is the sentiments of the participants. Kapag overly excited sila is the market seems always going up with always small of contraction of price. So gagawin lang natin is we buy on the break of the high of this consolidation phase and our cut loss level is the previous low of the consolidation phase and what we do is we trail our cut loss every time na umangat ang ating previous low is ido natin iangat ang ating cut loss level so ibang example naman ng continuation pattern natin so dito makakita tayo ng ascending triangle which is a valid setup because it is above the moving average na 200 and We can say na yung ascending triangle is just a form of continuation pattern. Basta any form na meron tayong contraction is we considered it as a continuation pattern for as long as it has a previous move and it continue the trend of the market. And we consider it as a continuation pattern. Um, always remember na sinasabi ko is we do not need to memorize the chart patterns. All we need to do is understand the concept or reason behind them. So punta naman tayo sa chart pattern kung saan meron tayong negative sentiment or short na sentiment. We have a bearish sentiment dito or negative sentiment. So if you are only a long trader, ibig sabihin nun you, are only, you only want the price to go up or appreciate then you should stay away from the market if nakakita ka ng gantong setup kasi you are anticipating na yung price will get lower so ito is ang ating condition is dapat nasa downtrend na siya or it is below the moving average na 200 or even it is on a distribution phase ng ating market cycle or it is under the uptrend na sideways which we can see here ito yung ating concern na market cycle na area So, una sa ating listahan is the descending triangle. So, the descending triangle is just the opposite of the ascending triangle. Dito is meron tayong previous move of the price which is pababa. So, in here clearly makikita natin yung sellers are mas malakas compared dun sa buyers. Kasi mapapansin nyo is yung sellers is always nilang pinupush yung price lower in this support level na to. So, mapapansin nyo, the buyers are not able to counteract the pressure of the sellers. So, mapapansin nyo, the price seems to be getting lower na pa ganun. So, dito, clearly na ang sellers natin ang sila ang malakas. So, basically, if you are long, is you should stay out of the market pag nakakita ka ng ganito. So, after ng descending triangle, we have a continuation pattern or a flag pattern in a downtrend. So, basically, it's just like a, yung na-discuss natin kanina, which is a consolidation phase between the downtrend kung saan is finurder niyang pre-nove or kinontinue yung trend ng market. So, ito yung example ng descending triangle in a distribution phase or in a uptrend na sideways. So, makikita nyo bakit siya uptrend na sideways kasi above pa siya ng ating moving average na 200 at the same time yung previous move natin is a uptrend kung saan mapapansin nyo is nag-generate tayo ng small consolidation phase dito which is the same as this one itong distribution phase na to so makikita natin dito is clearly na yung pressure is bumababa ng bumababa at pinipilit niyang i-retest itong support level na to the same time nung na-break itong support level na to is trinay niyang bum bumaba yung presyo, ba? Diba? And then, rinitest niya naman tong level na to, itong area ng ito, mapapansin nyo, this is a confirmation or a reversal of rule from a support turns the resistance. So, if you are short, dito tayo maganda mag-short and then we trail our cut loss. Kasi, next level na to or next phase na to ng market which is a downtrend naman. So, here is a another example of a descending triangle in a distribution or uptrend na sideways na ating market cycle. So, clearly, makikita natin dito, dito sa descending triangle na to is yung ating high structure is pababa ng pababa at it keeps retesting the support level. 
and once na break itong ating support level is from the uptrend na market cycle natin is it goes to the next cycle which is a downtrend na cycle. This is an example of continuation pattern in a downtrend na market cycle. So dito clearly makikita natin is yung sentiment is negative. If you are a short trader is dito tayo papasok. But if you are a long trader, you should stay out of the market pag nakakita ka ng mga flag pattern kasi we are anticipating na bababa pa yung presyo. So as you can see, as a example ng short trader is enter ka on the break of the support level and cut loss level mo is on the high of the consolidation phase. So ayun, ito yung ating risk na ratio. So dito sa example ng consolidation na to or flag pattern na to in a downtrend, is enter ka on the break of this low of this market structure. So, enter ka dito, cut loss level mo is around possible na dito na. So, ngayon, ito yung current na setup natin kung saan meron tayong contraction of price. Mapapansin nyo dito is I'm anticipating na mag-continue pa or mag-further pa yung ating downtrend. So, punta na tayo sa ating next setup which is a reversal na chart pattern. So, dito sa reversal na chart pattern is tinentry natin i-capture yung bottom ng downtrend. So, ang condition natin is from a downtrend na move, then we should have yung current phase natin is nasa downtrend na sideways or nasa accumulation na phase tayo. So, in this example, nandito tayo sa part na to, itong accumulation na phase na to. Meron tayong previous na downtrend na move, tas meron tayong contraction or ranging na price kung saan is parang yung moving average 200 natin is parang dumidikit siya dun sa ating current price. This pattern is called a double bottom pattern or also known as a W pattern. So, as you can see, the previous move, it is clearly on a downward or downtrend na uh, market cycle. Kung saan it generates a lower high na structure and a lower low na structure. So, the concept behind a double bottom na pattern is that the concept behind the retest functionality. So, makikita nyo dito is this is a support area. So, dito is itong support area is nag-generate tayo pa rin ng lower high na structure. And then, nagkaroon tayo ng retest or consolidation dito sa support na to. If I am a short trader, e-enter lang ako on the break of the support level and anticipating na further na gumawa siya ng lower low na structure. But that did never happen. At the same time, it breaks the high of this level and created a new high in here. Kung saan na-disvalidate na niya yung ating lower high na structure and it generated a higher high na structure. Minimin lang nito is yung downtrend natin is humihina na yung ating, yung ating mga buyers ay nag-start over na na pumasok. So, this is a good sign na para pumasok tayo. So, paano ba tayo pumasok or paano ba natin itrade ang W or bottom pick na pattern? Personally, ang napakahirap niyang itrade kung saan is bibili ka na on this consolidation phase kasi nga nasa clearly na nasa downtrend pa tayo. For me, personally, is itatry ko muna mag-generate siya ng new high structure para i-disvalidate niya yung ating downward na cycle. So, dito is dito ko palang na-confirm na meron tayong ay new high na structure. The same time, nag-generate siya ng pullback dito. So, personally, for me, dito palang ako papasok dito sa area na to. Itong area break na itong high na to. Kasi dun palang clearly na sino na meron na tayong bagong uh, cycle na market na possible na nasa accumulation phase na tayo. And next step ng accumulation is hopefully nasa uptrend na tayo. Ang next na variation sa ating reversal na chart pattern is a V pattern. So kung isipin mo ang V pattern is just from a sharp decline ng market is biglang umangat na yung presyo na never na niyang i-retest yung previous na support na level na yun. So, paano ba natin i-trade itong V pattern na to? So, personally, ang gagawin ko lagi is kay gusto ko munang i-disvalidate yung downtrend na ating structure. For this example, is meron tayong parang trendline dito na resistance. 
So makikita nyo dito sa part na tong area na to is meron tayong break ng ating previous na resistance level. Doesn't confirm na nasa new trend na tayo or uptrend or nasa accumulation na tayo kasi hindi pa siya nag-generate ng new high level. So pagkatiting dito meron tayong small pullback. Dito sa part na to is parang medyo positive na tayo. So, kasi rinites na niya yung previous high level. Thus, yung break na tong area na to is signifies na meron na tayo new cycle or new phase ng ating market. One thing na maganda sa trade na to is pagka break na, pagka break na tong resistance level na to is same resistance level siya ng ating moving average na 200. Thus, pagka-break nyan, it confirms na nasa new trend na tayo or nasa new cycle na tayo, which is on a uptrend na. Itong part na to, I don't think so nagdito ako papasok kasi ang aking iniisip is isi-swing trade ko lang siya in this nearest resistance, itong part na to. So, kung bibili ako dito sa break na tong consolidation na to, is maliit lang yung aking risk to reward na ratio kasi sa downtrend pa yung market natin. Yung rule of thumb ko pag nasa downtrend ako is magsiswing trade lang ako. Another type of a reversal chart pattern is called a cup handle pattern. Kung saan is yung itsura ng pattern na to is para yung ating mag ng kape. So unlike the V pattern rapid yung decline ng price and mabilis rin yung angat ng presyo. Unlike dito, is gradual yung ating pagbaba and gradual din yung ating pagangat. So basically, itong pattern na to is just form na meron lang tayo na parang flag pattern dito or small pullback. So ang break ng ating pullback na yun, dun sa high niya is dun tayo papasok. So if I'm looking a sign of strength dito is mapapansin mo, dito ko i-consider na ang market is starting to go on its accumulation phase kasi nga it generates a new, a higher high na structure. So, I will not still look to go in in this trade kasi nga it is still on a down of the moving average 200 and my rule is to swing it on its nearest resistance. Pangit pa rin yung risk to reward niya. So, gagawin ko is bibili pa rin ako in this break of this level na to etong area na to dito ako ko consider na bibili kung saan is kinonfirm niya na na-break niya tong handle natin so ang um, aking initial na cut loss level ilalagay ko dito ang aking entry point is in, at the break of this consolidation phase so ganun ko ititik etong cup and handle na pattern na to till on a reversal na chart pattern ang pinagkaibahan nito is we are looking the top of the uptrend. So, in here, ang condition natin is meron tayong previous move of a uptrend and then we are already in a distribution phase na market. Maganda to para sa mga trend followers na trader kung saan is, is pag nakakita tayo ng pattern na to is mag-exit na tayo dun sa almost top ng ating uh, uptrend na market. Ang ating main concern dito is itong distribution phase na to. As you can see, this is an example of a double top na pattern in a distribution phase in the topmost of this uh, uptrend na cycle kung saan it failed to create a higher high na structure. So parang retest lang siya ng ating previous na resistance and can confirm niya na it cannot go higher and this break of this is definitely dapat nakapag-exit ka na so itong example ng double top pattern natin so dito clearly mapapansin nyo is meron na tayong double test ng ating uh, resistance level at the same time itong parang range na to yung break na to and yung retest ng ating previous na support na turns na resistance dito. So, dito sa part na to, dapat nakapag-exit ka na kung trin and follow mo man tong area na to. Another example of a double top dito in a uptrend kung saan it generates a retest of our previous resistance and the break of this, ang ginawa niya is it furthers the price action. But still, bullish in this market kasi nga it was not able to break this previous na support kung saan is, it is a strong support na tong area na to. Next na reversal na chart pattern natin on the top of a uptrend is called a head and shoulders na pattern. 
kung saan is parang meron siyang dalawang shoulder dito at meron tayong head dito. So, ang reason behind this lang naman nito is since we are from a uptrend na cycle and then this part is it was not able to create a higher high na structure na ganito at the same time it created a lower low na structure thus signifies na yung mga sellers are starting to take over. At the same time yung break nitong ating support na to is definitely confirmed na na ang ating phase or ang ating distribution phase is over na. So, magne-next cycle na tayo nun. This is a head and shoulders and a light chart. So, mapapansin nyo dito sa condition natin is meron tayong uptrend move kung saan consistent siya na nag-generate ng higher high and higher low na structure. In this part na to is it generates a lower high na structure thus disvalidating our uptrend. So, it so happened na itong part na to is a head and shoulder na pattern. So, ang break na itong support ng ating head and shoulders and this retest and another retest of this support that now turns resistance is definitely a confirmation ng ating distribution phase is over na. Another example of head and shoulder is this one. So, itong break ng ating head and shoulder na support na to is hindi pa siya dumiretso sa downtrend na cycle. So, meron tayong parang small na contraction ng price dito or range ng market na to. Kung saan, lagi niyang trinatry or i-retest itong ating previous na support na to na now turns na resistance na to. So, positive pa rin tayo sa area na to basta for as long na yung market natin is kaya niya mag-break above this structure na to. But unfortunately, it was not able to do that and now break this our range of support and thus nasa next na uh, downtrend na cycle na tayo. Punta na tayo sa next setup natin which is under this indecision na to. First sa listahan is a symmetrical na triangle. Ang concept behind the symmetrical triangle is yung ating buyers and sellers are almost equal yung pressure na. Kung saan is yung pressure it seems going to a certain na equilibrium na area. So, ang mangyari dito is we are not certain where the market is going. Regardless, it is on pababa na ganito yung ating previous move or pataas na ganito. So, ang pwede natin gawin is antayin natin i-break yung ating equilibrium point. So, we can buy either here if we are long and cut loss around here. And we can short or enter here if we are a short trader and set our cut loss in here. Next na setup natin under the indecision is a individual na candlestick called a doji candle. Parang yung individual na candlestick is wala siyang body kung saan yung ating opening price and our closing price are almost equal. So obviously, itong part na to is it means a buyers or sellers is nasa post na area tayo undecided sila kung saan ba papunta yung presyo ng market so we should treat the doji candle as a continuation pattern or a flag pattern kung saan we only treat this kind of setup kapag nasa downtrend siya or kapag clearly na nasa uptrend siya so for this example meron tayong one big move on the first day of the market And the next day is meron tayong post day na nangyari or indecision ng market. So, ito yung pinakamagandang best way na gamitin ito kung saan is meron tayong good na risk to reward kung saan e-enter tayo on the break of the high of the indecision which is a doji candle and we cut loss on this level. So, compared naman na bigla kang papasok dito sa one big move na to is wala kang market structure. So, I will cut short this video and I will create another video that focus on this candlestick na to that we can employ on our trade. So, thank you for watching and see you on my next video, okay?